Robert Brackett Elliott was an American comedian and actor, one half of the comedy duo of Bob and Ray. He was the father of comedian-slash-actor Chris Elliott and grandfather of actress and comedians Abby Elliott and Bridie Elliott. He is most remembered by the character of radio reporter Wally Ballou. Elliott was born in Winchester, Massachusetts, the son of Gail Margarite, a needleworker, and Fred Russell Elliott, who worked in insurance. Bob Elliott served in the U.S. Army in Northern Europe in World War II. On radio, he appeared in programs with his longtime partner Ray Goulding. These were in different series and time slots over decades, beginning in the late 1940s at Boston's WHDH Radio on the show Matinee with Bob and Ray. The funniest people in this country, these guys are also two of the keenest observers of the American scene and the finest interviewers in the business. David Letterman said of the duo prior to one interview. Bob and Ray in a publicity photo with Teddy Thurman for Monitor, where all were program regulars on television, Elliot and Goulding hosted Bob and Ray from 1951 to 1953. He appeared on a number of other television programs, including Happy Days, New Heart, and Bob and Ray, Jane, Varane and Gilda in 1979, The David Steinberg Show, and Saturday Night Live. In 1982, Elliot was an author. Author. As Patrick Dicker. He would star in made-for-TV movies such as Between Time and Timbuktu and FDR, a one-man show. Elliot also made television commercials, and co-wrote some humor articles with Ray Goulding for Mad Magazine in the 1950s. In 1970, the duo debuted in the two and only on Broadway. Bob and Goulding worked together up until Goulding's death in 1990. In 1990, Elliot portrayed a bank guard in Quick Change. In 1990, he portrayed Fred Peterson in the television series Get a Life, which starred Chris as his son. Four years later, the elder Elliot appeared in the Tim Burton production Cabin Boy, playing Chris's father again. In 2004, he appeared in a skit on the Air America radio program The O'Franken Factor. Elliot appeared on radio with Garrison Keeler in the American Radio Company of the Air. Elliot married Jane Underwood in 1943. They divorced in 1953, having no children. Bob and Ray writer Raymond Knight died in 1953. In 1954, Elliot married Knight's widow, Lee. They were married for 58 years until her death in 2012. They had two sons, Chris Elliott and Bob Elliott Jr., and one daughter, Amy Anderson. They adopted Lee and Ray Knight's two children, Colony Elliott Santangelo and Shannon Elliott. They had 11 grandchildren and five great-grandchildren. In 1989, Elliott co-authored son Chris's mock autobiography, Daddy's Boy, a son's shocking account of life with a famous father. Elliot died in Cundy's Harbor, Maine on February 2, 2016, from throat cancer at the age of 92. Media related to Bob Elliot at Wikimedia Commons. Thanks for watching.